Say hello. I'm making this video basic, basically for the purpose of demonstrating the idiosyncrasies of the Cuisinart orange juicer. It's about twenty something dollars. Uh, yeah, it's uh, you go down uh, maybe to Bed Bath and Beyond with the coupon. Yeah, twenty something, twenty something dollars, twenty low twenties actually. Now I've been juicing with this machine, this type of machine, uh, I for a couple of years, and I've gone through a few of these machines. They are erratic in behavior, and uh, I have learned the uh, the high spin is when you press down on this here. This one's broken, so the high speed is not working. And the one previous to this one the high speed burnt out the motor the high speed spin and what do you get a few extra drops but I have also a method that uh, without using the high speed to get every last drop if that's what you really want out of this and uh, I'll, I'll explain that how I do that because I open this up see it comes in two parts this is your basically your gradient if you turn it all the way to the right you get the most juice and pulp coming out these holes in here this midway you have some holes open to get some of the pulp out very little and if you close it all the way which this one here is an old one it, it doesn't let any pulp out through uh, the scent, through the uh, center section here, but on the outer walls, some gets out. Now, obviously, when you put it on high speed, the pulp and juice will fly out the side, side grid. Let me wash this real fast. This is a very easy machine to clean because basically all you got is three three parts here. These are the three parts. This never gets dirty except for maybe a little bit that you wipe just down with a sponge. Easy to put together. That fits on there. We already showed you how this works. I'm keeping it on its open position now all the way to the right so it's, I want everything to come through. And there you go. Now this morning I'm having grapefruit for breakfast. I have two white grapefruit and two pink grapefruits. I mix it up. Um, uh, this is not what I usually have. I usually have a mixture of grapefruits, lemons, limes, and oranges. But the other citrus fruit has been spiked up in price the past couple of weeks. This is the, I'm very uh, budget conscious when it comes to uh, my, uh, my buying my foods. I'm very frugal about it. Frugal, 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 fruit, frugal. I'm very fruit frugal because I'm on a fixed budget. And uh, so these are 33 cents a piece, four times 33, and that's my breakfast. Uh, now, if you want to fill up a complete mason jar, I would add one, one more. Okay. Now, first thing I do is I slice these babies open. Then I... I take these pits out to uh, 
aid. You don't have to do this. But what happens is the pit can come out, get caught in here, and as it's turning, it's going to pull out all this flesh, and you won't get a squeeze out of it. So uh, they inhibit um, the pits, inhibit the uh, the operation for that reason. So I just go through first and take the pits out as many pits as I can. You're still going to get pits and you're still going to get very small baby parts of the pits. Woody woody substances that you're not going to really want to drink down. I don't think that's too good. Especially if you have di di diverticulitis. Because that little stuff is going to get stuck in uh, the cavities of your diverticulitis. I right, go through. This is not a problem just to take out these as many pitches you see on top of the fruit. Now that's it. How long did that take me? A minute? This part you're not going to like. I stuff cotton in my ears. <clears throat> when the machine is newer, it doesn't make as much noise, but it still makes noise. It makes so much noise, this machine, that I put cotton in my ears because the first thing in the morning I don't want to listen to this. And I usually turn the radio really up high and listen to that at the same time. But today I'm making a video. <laughs> now, here you go. You press down, but I'm not pressing really hard. Uh, you get a feel for it. And you can squeeze on the sides as you're going. I see still pits are coming down and woody substances into, the, into this glass. So no matter what, it has to be strained. And that's where I get every drop. You don't need the high spin, which is going to ruin the machine. This particular machine, I don't know about others. If somebody post, if they have no better machines at a low price, post it down below. Now, you can go crazy here and squeeze every last drop. For purposes of this video, I'm going to go along at a nice clip. Another thing, these machines are erratic, and, and right now it's turning clockwise. It's supposed to, when you lift up and come down again, it's supposed to reverse its, uh, its spin. It should be go counterclockwise, come up, clockwise, come up, counterclockwise. Obviously, you can see... Yeah, that operation is really not. Now it, it turned on its own. It changed directions without me even lifting up on it. This is characteristic of this Cuisinart machine. So that's what I mean by erratic operation. There's one. Boom, boom. Now look, I'm not going to put the next one on here because if it's going to all clog this all up, we're not going to get juice down. So what I do is I take a spoon. And I pull off the flesh around, throw that in the compost, and then we come with our next one. Now that first half yield uh, three ounces, so you can figure six ounces for a medium grapefruit. So I got four, six point four. 24 ounces of grapefruit juice. The fifth one would give me 28, so actually we can go more than that. Six grapefruits for 32 ounces. So 32 ounces, six times 33 cents, and that's how much my breakfast would cost. It. I really should be going for the 32 ounce, but this, this video is for our demonstration. You see, you listen to that noise. I come up, come down, the noise goes away for a while. But like I said, this machine is, this is an old one here. Uh, I've been using this particular one a long time. When I get a new one, I'm not going to uh, ever use the high spin and then that will really extend the life 
of the machine, and it, it wouldn't be uh, in the condition this machine is in at this point of its life. How much can you expect out of this? This one here? At this rate, it might go a long time because I'm not using the high spin. But if you use the high spin, you could burn out the machine in a matter of a month or so, a month or two. The, you're going to burn out a cycle. One of its features, you'll burn out. You don't want that. So I suggest you don't. You don't even need the high speed. Okay. Yeah, I love grapefruit because they are really packed with juice. Actually, I find the navel orange, navel orange is the, the least amount of juice in a navel orange. But when they're on sale and I can buy enough of them, I'll juice the navel oranges along with other citrus fruits. Actually, the best tasting drink it's when you mix them all together, the lemon, the lime, the tangerine, the grapefruit, and the oranges. Wow! What a fantastic drink that is. Okay, boom. Okay. So, once in a while, I ring the edge like this and bring out from the edge, whatever flesh might be collecting around the edge, the perimeter, and you scoop out this as much as possible because you want to leave the holes available for the juice to flow through. See that beautiful juice? It sounds annoying, huh? I got cotton in my ears right now. So it's not really, doesn't really bother me that much. 